Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for the 30th. But you know the timing is fluid. I'm not going to get into it, but this is uh, daily energy. We're just going to see what comes up. What do we have? What's coming up? What can we expect? What message should I be delivering today? Growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. What a great card. This is about going within. You could think of this as kind of like the high priestess. The high priestess takes time to silence herself or himself. Takes that time to go into a period of silence for inner growth. To reflect, to receive, to grow into the person that, that they are meant to be. So we have somebody here that is in the process of expansion. And I really feel like it's a spiritual expansion. Somebody is expanding on their own inner awareness of who they are. And that's what the focus is. Inner growth. Eight of Wands moving forward very quickly. Okay, this is forward movement, fast. Somebody's ready, ready to move forward. This could also be communication, ready to communicate. Ready to open up, ready to move in that new direction. Five of Swords, this is conflict, this is power struggles, this is defeat. Facing the struggle. Hmm. Now this is tension and conflict. King of Wands, this is somebody who takes action. Aries Leo Sagittarius, this is somebody who is very stable, solid. This man is very wise. He takes action, he sees what he wants and he goes for it. He's a visionary, he doesn't sit around and wait, he takes action. So this, this could, there could be somebody that is taking action. This, is, this man is very adventurous. Ten of Swords. Wow. Now this is defeat. This is painful. Very painful. Uh, somebody is really, you know, <sighs> somebody's really feeling defeated. Somebody's really feeling stabbed. Somebody's really, really hurt. suffering we do I mean this is we got somebody suffering but this is the completion tens are completion so this could be the end of suffering four of wands I do it must be it's got to be the end of suffering because this guy is very courageous he's confident so th if this is a four of wands this is happiness completely the opposite of this completely this is a this is a lot of happiness this is celebrating life this is a celebration <laughs> we could have somebody here that is thinking about marriage they may be thinking about, you know, 
the hardship that they have been through. And maybe this person is now thinking, you know, I want a commitment. I want happiness. I don't want to live in this state anymore. It really feels like we have somebody that is, is ready to fight for happiness, right? And push everybody else away. I'm going to push everybody else away that doesn't support me. This is moving forward very, very quickly. And if you see what's mirroring, they're mir it's mirroring this Four of Wands. This is, you know, <laughs> moving towards uh, some sort of, you know, partnership, perhaps. Somebody could actually be moving, moving to a new place, moving home, changing their home, moving to a new state, because I said that. I don't want to be in the state anymore. Anyway, now I was listening to the birds sing while I was shuffling. I'm sure you were too. Okay, there's, there's something that is about to hatch. There is. It looks like there's, there's two. Okay, something is about to happen. The, a birth, right? And this is, and birds are about freedom. So somebody is 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 finding an, a way to free themselves from this mental conflict that they have been, you know, allowing something like that. I mean, looks like this guy he can he can choose a different path at any time. You know, he could have he can get up. He could have, he could get up at any time, you know, and this guy may have been moping, um, may have been self-loathing. We could have had somebody who was really thinking about all the bad things that happened to them, you know, not finding their confidence, but we do have somebody that is changing their tune, okay? They may be realizing that that allowing this to <laughs> keep haunting them is only hindering themselves. I don't know. Somebody has been like haunted by a painful situation. But now we're moving forward very, very quickly towards happiness. This is uh, basically taking taking action. I mean, this guy takes action. It's like the time is now. This guy is ruled by Sagittarius, which is temperance. Temperance, Leo, which is which is strength, and Aries, which is uh, domination. You know, it's control, power. So we have somebody here that is about to, you know, really take the lead. It's like I'm taking back control of my life. I'm taking back control of my emotions. Taking back control of everything. I'm not going to let this keep me down. So that's what it looks like to me. Anyway. Tower reversed. Necessary evil. Something was removed so that somebody could move forward in a new direction. Something was removed or it's about to be removed. A false sense of security is being removed or has been removed. There's been too much imbalance there. There's been there's been chaos. Here we have the high priestess. We just talked about her. We could have this king of wands that is, you know, he, this guy is very noble. He's the noble king. Very noble. If he's dealing with the high priestess, he'd better be noble, because the high he can't hide nothing. You can't hide anything from the high priestess. Because she knows. She knows all. She, I mean, she knows. She got the cards in her hand. That's what she has, too. She has the cards in her hand. Interesting. Nine of Swords. Anxiety. Fear. This could be regrets. We could have somebody who regrets. Definitely there's some regrets here. 
page of cups regrets not following their heart we have somebody that you know was emotionally unavailable and i think we have somebody that regrets it they regret not going after love or they regret wasting time whatever um I feel as though we have somebody here that is absolutely going going within. They're going within. They're secluding themselves. They are harnessing their inner strength, their inner power, their inner wisdom. They're going through a period of spiritual growth. And I feel like we there's two people here. There's two people here. You, you could say this is one person and this is another. It could go so many freaking ways. Mm. we have a man or a masculine that is about to toward, take action towards a very strong intuitive individual somebody that he knows that he cannot intim intimidate somebody that he knows he has to come to correct he knows that he has to come to this person correct I think he has regrets for his past actions I feel like he you know, his life has been turned upside down by some previous trauma. And I feel like, you know, he is now ready to move forward into a commitment. That's what I see. I think he shut down emotionally and made himself uh, unavailable for a commitment because he was suffering. Um, he may have gotten himself into a false commitment, okay, a false foundation, you know, to fill the void, you know, just to fill the void. And that has caused upheaval in his life. I feel as though there's a lot of guilt and there's a lot of regrets over, you know, not being noble in the past. I feel like we have somebody here that... Um, the other person has probably turned off, you know, turned off their their emotional feelings for this individual. If it's somebody that you know, if this is somebody from your past, I feel like this per we have somebody here who is basically turned off, maybe cut all communication, just totally, you know, decided to go within to, you know, focus on their own fears and focus on their own growth. And they've just shut themselves off. And I feel like this other person is probably you know wanting to communicate and probably is going to do so I think that there is going to be some communication that comes in from this noble individual who knows that he uh, he's it's like he's 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 been defe defeated by this high priestess it's like She's the one I want, or he or she, whatever. This person is the one I want. I know that I have to come to this person right. Um, and I feel like, you know, the, there's still, there's fear, though. There's there's fear of rejection. There's fear of, of not getting reciprocation. But I feel like this person's going to take action anyway because he's very courageous. I think that he has a lot of courage. I think that he may be intimidated by this high priestess. Um, or this person that is very intuitive, he's probably intimidated by, you know, this, 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 her ability, whatever. And, um, you know, he's, he's probably fearing, I think he's fearing rejection, you know. I think he's definitely fearful of, uh, stepping forward, but I think he's going to. I think because this is mental strength and this is mental strength. So we got somebody here that, you know, he does have a lot of fear and he's feeling very tense about doing this, but I think that he's going to anyway. So you could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sagittarius. We could be dealing with a um, Taurus, Pisces. Could be anybody else. We have Scorpio, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um... could be dealing with anybody but I feel as though there's a rebirth here or there's a birth of something new there's an opportunity I mean 11 11 okay there's an opportunity for two people to come together that are probably a very good match okay they're probably a lot alike you look at these two eggs are, are just alike they are they're they are it's a set okay 
It's, it is. So, you know, I feel as though we have somebody that is about to step forward and communicate. And this person is probably a perfect match. This person um, is afraid of rejection, but they do have a lot of courage. Um, they may have gotten themselves into a false sense of security or a false relationship that turned their life upside down in the past and has caused them to f so much tension, has, you know, caused, they may feel like, you know, that's what their fear comes from. You know, their fear may come from the past. Their fear may come from the, the false relationship they were in before. Or it could be, this could be, so, this could be a past relationship. You know, somebody that you have dealt with before and, you know, whatever. This could go multiple ways. But I feel like we have somebody here that is really struggling with taking that next step. They want to take the next step. They're trying to adapt to, you know, uh, their feelings, their thoughts. There's a lot of mental conflict here. A lot. A lot. But this guy is so strong. He is. He's, he is. He's such a strong man or masculine or whoever he is. And for those of you that say these cards aren't signs, aren't uh, gender specific, I'm going to try not to swear. But why would they? I mean, I don't. They are gender specific. That's a pile of shit. I don't care. I'm not here to get as many subscribers as I can get. I'm not here to appease to as many people as I can appease to. I'm going to go with my gut. And when I see a man on a card, <laughs> it looks like a fucking man. And I'm not going by the book, and I'm not going by anybody else's thoughts, ideas, ways, or opinions. We have a man here who is dealing with a lot of mental, a masculine okay very masculine that is dealing with a lot of mental conflict about this woman or feminine that is very gifted very intuitive very uh, authentic and he knows that he has to come to her correct and he is going to he is going to because he's a noble man this man may be at a distance This is mentally exhausted. It is. Somebody has be, has or was mentally exhausted. I think it's with a false relationship. I think this is a false relationship. A false relationship has caused a lot of upheaval and mental exhaustion for this man. And now he wants to drop this burden of some sort. He's overwhelmed. This man is overwhelmed. He's overwhelmed. He's He's got so many. It's like it's, it's killing him. It's killing him. And he just wants to go back or he wants to go home. Or he wants to go find love. He wants wish fulfillment. He wants happiness. He has been overwhelmed. We have a man here that is overwhelmed. He just wants to be happy. I just want happiness again. That's what he wants. It's like, I just want my, I just want happiness. He may been dealing with an individual who is literally unavailable to him. 
he he probably was, and that's why he's been struggling. He's maybe he's scared. Men get masculines get scared too. Anyhow. And she's a healer. The high priestess is a healer. So, I think that we have a completion of one relationship. The real completion, where it, it's really over. Okay? It's really, 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 really over. Because somebody has decided, I just want happiness. And they decide to move. They could be a move out of the home. There could be, I'm being honest with you. There could be a, a move to a new state. There could be, you know, a move into a new relationship. I don't know. But there is forward movement. There's, it's fast. And it could lead somebody into a new relationship. We have a completion here. A big one, okay? 10, 10, 10. And every single one of them is upright. Those completion, completion, completion. And it's, you know what it's a completion of? I'm going to show you what's on the bottom of this deck. It's a completion of loneliness. It's just about to end. The loneliness is about to end because we have a masculine that is about to take action and go after wish fulfillment. He's not going to sit and mope anymore. We're going to get one of these because we haven't used one in a while. Something's coming to an end. Something that the burden, the stress, it's coming to an end. It's coming to an end because somebody's going after happiness. And I think they're going to find it. There's going to be some sort of communication that comes in from a very noble individual this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek so maybe you guys have already met good luck